guys today we're going to be building a small chatbot again this is going to be the coffee chatbot but first coffee whether it's us whether it's to get us ready to jump start our day or to get us to a late night cram session many of us need our regular caffeine fix ordering coffee is just one in a small example process that can be automated with the help of a chatbot now you're given the task of creating a Python chatbot that can help cut the wait time of a normal coffee run by taking the customer's orders in advance. Write your code in the script and then run it by entering python3 script.py in the terminal. Cool. Okay, so define a function called coffeebot. Okay, define coffee bots. Okay, that prints out the statement welcome to the cafe. So it prints and it prints out welcome to the cafe. At the bottom of the script, call your function and run the script to see the greeting. So the coffee and we have to run it python 3 script.py welcome to the cafe perfect as you progress through the project feel free to run the script at any point to see your changes don't forget to click the save button first next define a function called get size that will take the user for the size of their drink use the input function to get the results and store it in the variable function called res okay let's see so the function is going to be called get size get size and then we have a res here and then return res from the function it should contain the letter corresponding to the selection inside your coffee buff coffee bot function call the get size function and store uh, the return value to a variable called size print out size to see the variable So, welcome to the cafe, and then we'll do size equals get size. And then we can print out seven three Which one would you like? We'll say A. And then we will do, yeah, I think we're good here. And now update the, okay, we have to also print size here. So print size, okay. And now update the get size function so that it returns the selected size instead of the user's corresponding values uh, to the user's selection okay so specifically delete your previous return statement and add a conditional um, as that okay gotcha so to do that simply do if res is equal to a Return, return small elif res equals to b and 
forgot the colon here. We don't want an error. Return medium. Glyph. The user chooses C. Can return large. Um. Syntax error return. Oh, return. Spell it wrong. Okay, you return small. Perfect. Now, you may have noticed that if the user entered an input other than A, B, and C, none gets printed. This is because we have not accounted for these kinds of responses in the conditional statements. By default, a function will return none. Let's, fi let's fix this. Add an else block to your conditional statements inside of inside this block called the get size function and return its returned value. So add an else block to your conditional statements inside this block. Okay, else. We'll do get size and return its return to value. Okay, this will continue to prompt the user. Yeah, so this will continue to prompt the user uh, for a size selection until the user's responses matches one of our expected outputs. Notice that the get size function is now calling itself, making it a recursive function. We'll learn more about this in the future. So save your code and run it to see it in action. Okay. 50. F A A. A is supposed to return. Q didn't do mm -hmm. That's odd. Okay, let me try again. B returns medium. What if we do G? What if we do C? Hmm. Okay, this is looking great. Okay, let's. Okay, the get size function is looking great. Lastly, just to make it more user friendly, let's ha uh, have a print out a message in the else block before it prompts the user to input again. First, define a separate function called print message that prints the message. Okay, we'll do def print message. Then we'll do print. I'm sorry, I did not understand your selection. Please enter the corresponding letter. And then like that. Save. Up next, to find a function called get drink type. Okay, get drink type. Actually, I think I messed up on this one. Yeah, we'll just put it here. And then we'll do get drink type that was supposed to go on here uh, and the next up define a function yep that will ask the user for their drink order what type of drink would you like a brewed coffee b maca c latte Use the input function to get the user's input and response and 
put it into res. Okay, yeah, we'll just do the same thing we did on this one. Yeah, we're gonna just do the same thing. Okay, and then instead we'll do what type of drink would you like? And then brewed coffee. Also have maca or mocha and then latte. There you go, perfect. Now use the input function to get the user input, store it in res, return res for now. Okay, return res. Inside your coffee bot definition under your get size, call the function get drink type. And then print out drink type, okay. So drink type, drink type equals get drink type. And we just simply just print out drink type. Cool. Similar to get size, delete your previous return statement in the get drink type and add a conditional statement such that we have that. Okay, so we'll go back here. And we'll do if res. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll just copy this one. We'll just copy that one. Yeah, we'll just simply just copy this. And then this is brewed. Brewed coffee. Mocha. And then latte. Otherwise, call. Else call uh, the print message. Okay, we'll do print message and then um, return the value that is returned from calling get drink. Okay, return get drink. Get drink type. And I also have to put the print message in get size as well. Okay. Let's try it. So the Python three script dot py. And then we'll do a small, and then we'll do b mocha. Okay, cool. Why is it printing out? Hmm. Why is it printing? Oh, okay, all right, all right. that's the problem. And let's go ahead and rerun it. Do T, do B, do H, do C. Cool, works perfectly fine. Almost done with this. So now let's take a step further. If the User orders a latte, we'll ask them what kind of milk they would like to find a function called order latte. Okay, so we'll do this. 
set of the order def order latte and define a function and prompt the user for that and yeah we have the same thing as this so let's copy it and what kind of milk for your latte two percent milk with non-fit non-fat milk or we have soy milk add a conditional statement uh, such that okay have to add a conditional so I'll just copy this one if a return just latte if b will do non fat latte if c we'll do soy latte otherwise call print message again and then do order latte cool and in the get drink type instead of returning the string latte if the user selects latte as their drink return the variable the value okay in the get drink instead of latte if the user if the user selects latte as a drink of choice return order latte okay order latte now let's put it all together in coffee bot remove any print statements that you currently have besides the welcome greeting okay Welcome to the cafe. Then add a print statement at the very end of that of that output. All right, that's a size and drink type. Okay. So we'll do print. All right, that's a. Plus size plus and then the plus drink type plus okay next prompt the user for their name uh, so. Can I get your name, please? Okay, can I get your name, please? So, to so name equals input. Can I get your name, please? Yeah, it's supposed to be inside of the brackets like that. Okay. And then finally print out a statement that says thanks, your drink will be ready shortly. Okay. So the thanks or sorry print thanks. This name. Your drink will be ready shortly. Save it. Order complete. All right, let's go ahead and try this out right here. Let's try it out. So we're gonna do latte, right? So. So we're gonna run it. To do it, we just do Python three and then script.py. 
and we'll say we want a medium. So we'll go P hypotermies, I'm sorry, P. And what type of drink would you like? Let's say C. What kind? Uh, we'll just do a non-fat, trying to lose weight. All right, that's a medium non-fat latte. Can I get your name, please? Sure, it's Bob. Thanks, Bob. Your drink will be sh ready shortly. That is beautifully made. Love it. I love it. I love this whole thing. So nice. Okay. And I believe we missed one of these. But yeah, that is going to be the coffee bot. Um, we can add additional function functionality to the chatbot. How can we ask the user if they'd like a plastic cup or to use their reusable cup? How about if they like their drink hot or iced, or maybe they'd want to addition or order an additional drink. Now this is just you know, this this is literally a chatbot, right? Like in its simplest form, it's a chatbot. But yeah, that's basically chatbots in a nutshell. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. If you did stick all the way through, uh, if you want to know how I got my first internship and how you can as well, check out the top link in the description, completely free guide I made for you. But with that being said, I'm going to end it right here and I'll see you in the next one.